Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton and today's topic is diffraction. Objectives for today will be relating the diffraction of light to its wave characteristics and describing Young's double slit experiment. So to begin with, diffraction is the bending of waves around obstacles or the spreading of waves as they pass through an opening. And it's most apparent when looking at obstacles having a size in the same order of magnitude as the wavelength. And you've probably experienced diffraction before. Ever been in a room and someone outside the room yells, but yet inside the room you hear it even though you can't see them? How did those sound waves get to your ear? Well, they were probably reflected off different objects and into the room into your ear, as well as having some of that sound diffract around a corner. So, diffraction, the bending of waves around obstacles. Now, the amount of diffraction can vary. Small obstacles and long wavelengths provide maximum diffraction, so you get the most bending with small openings and bigger wavelengths. If you have a small enough opening, the wave passing through actually behaves like a point source for a new wave. If you look down here in the diagram below, we have a wave, and you can see the wave fronts coming to the right. They see a small opening, and as they pass through that, because they're bending around the opening, it almost looks like you have a point source for a new wave. Young's double slit experiment is a famous experiment in physics that helped to prove that light has wave characteristics. If you look here, we had sunlight coming through a single slit screen and then through a double slit screen. So as it comes through the double slit screen, it acts almost like a point source for the waves. For each of the waves, they interfere with each other and that leads to this interference pattern. Areas of dark and bright and dark and bright along the final screen you only see constructive and destructive interference with waves. So this proves that light has wave properties. So let's look at some sample problems around diffraction. Which diagram best represents the shape and direction of a series of wave fronts after they have passed through a small opening in a barrier? Well, as we talked about, waves passing through a small opening almost behave as if they're a point source. So if the waves are coming from the left, the correct answer here must be number four. Waves, waves are coming from the left, and as they go through the opening, it behaves almost as if they're a point source. Number four. Or another problem, we have a beam of monochromatic light, single color light, or single frequency light. And it approaches a barrier having four openings, A, B, C, and D. Each of those openings has a different size. Which opening will cause the greatest diffraction? Well, you'll get the greatest diffraction with long wavelengths. They all have the same wavelength, so that's not a factor. And the smallest opening. And the smallest opening is A, the 0.2 millimeter opening. So you'll get the most diffraction at A. Problem three. Parallel wave fronts incident on an opening in a barrier are diffracted. For which combination of wavelength and size of opening will diffraction effects be the greatest? Short wavelength and narrow opening, short wavelength and wide opening, long wavelength and narrow opening, or long wavelength and wide opening. And as you recall, you get the greatest diffraction with longer wavelengths and smaller openings. So the correct answer must be number three. Another problem, a wave of constant wavelength diffracts as it passes through an opening in a barrier. As the size of the opening is increased, the diffraction effects will decrease, increase, or remain the same. Well, if that opening is getting larger, the diffraction effects must be getting smaller. So the correct answer is one. As the size of the opening increases, the amount of diffraction decreases. One last problem here. The diagram below shows a plane wave passing through a small opening in a barrier. Sketch four wave fronts after they have passed through the barrier. Okay, the wave is coming from the left. We have a narrow opening, so it's going to behave almost like a point source. So we could draw our wave fronts something like that. And interestingly, if you have the wave coming from the left through an opening, it almost makes the shape of a letter D. D for diffraction, perhaps. Maybe that'll help you remember. Anyhow, that's just a very brief introduction to diffraction. There is tons more depth you can go into, but hopefully that gets you started. If you need more information or help, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks and make it a great day.